Hello to all my sumo peeps and Merry Christmas. I had a question I'd like to answer pretty quick, so I'm going to do it now, and it's how to make a reflection without using the 3D reflection tool that gives you kind of a water look in, um, in sumo. So let's get started. Nice and easy. Oh, sumo, where are you? There you are. Okay. It doesn't want to go there. Here we go. Oops, go sign in. Sorry about that, I should have been prepared. Okay, so open up Sumo Paint. And someday here, it's a little slow, it must be Christmas and everybody's home on the computers, which is slowing down the internet. Okay, so let's leave uh, this layer white. We'll start a new layer, and we'll take our brush, take the flow all the way up, take the diameter all the way up, and we will choose a 3D brush, and I'm liking these champagne glasses, so I think that's what they are anyway. And forgive me, but for some reason, my, I don't know if that's my computer or if it's sumo, but the flash is acting weird today, so. Okay, so there's our champagne glass. We'll make it a little bigger here. Okay, so let's say we just want to make a reflection of that. We want to duplicate that layer, choose the bottom layer, go over here and select flip vertical. And we move it down right to about there. And we could actually sort of do it like this, which I think looks a little better, so I'm going to do it that way. Um, and we're going to reduce the opacity to eh, about 42%. Now here's where the trick comes in to make it look a little bit more realistic. We select the pixels. And that's right-clicking on that, and then select pixels. And we're going to do a gradient. And we're going to do standard gradient over here. And what we're going to choose, because we have a white background, is the white to clear. If we had a black background, we'd do black to clear. So then we just take our gradient here, and we're going to draw it down. And you can see what that did is it lightened it up further down, so it should fade a little bit. Select, deselect, and there you go. We have a realistic looking um, reflection that is made from just just second layer, duplicate it, flip it vertical, take it down to where it looks realistic, and then if you have a white background, do white to clear. If you have a black down, background, do black to clear. And I can show you that really quick. Let's delete this layer. Take our white background and we'll make it black. Okay. Now let's duplicate this layer. We're going to flip it vertical again. And we're going to move it to our special place. <laughs> I hope everybody's had a Merry Christmas. Now we select pixels. And should have put that underneath, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, and now we're going to do black to clear. So we take our thing and we just draw it down like so. Select, deselect, and there you have it. A realistic looking um, reflection, although I need to dim it a bit. So, take it down, we should move it beneath the other one. There you go, that's a very realistic looking reflection. So, anyway, you can do that with many things. You can do it with other backgrounds other than black or white. You just have to be, you have to experiment with which um, white to clear or black to clear works best for you. So, and you know, you can also take this filter and blur it a bit. Blurring will help it too, if it's not a glass surface that it's on. Make it look just a little, you know, a little less perfect. So anyway, there you go. I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas, and I hope you all have a Happy New Year. Talk to you later. Bye.